Hello, I'm Lineke Lijn and in this film we're going to draw glass and I've noticed and I've studied glass a lot and I've tried to draw it and it was not very easy at all. I've made pictures and, and wrapped it up and threw them away but now finally I found a way to make drawing glass more easy and it's from a different approach. It's nice to watch for beginning artists but it's also nice for if you are a bit further on the way and I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's start. When we start this drawing we will start with the brushes. And what I have here is it's a little powder case and in order to start the drawing with the brushes I scrape off a little bit of powder from a graphite pencil. It's a pure graphite pencil and by scraping it there is a powder that I collect in this little box and I can use this powder to start drawing with the brushes. I start with simply applying a little bit of powder on my brush. Here we start. First I will form the, the neck of the bottle and the top of the bottle. And as you can see, I just merely draw the shape of the bottle by putting in little shadows of the parts where the light doesn't uh, get through the bottle. This is in real time, so you can easily draw along. This way you can get the shape of the bottle and you don't have to be so worried that it's a bit crooked or something because you are merely thinking in the places of where the darkest shadows will be and you are not thinking in lines but in shapes. You can see a little bit of excess powder, so I will brush that off. Oh, there's my cat. I brush him away too. And now I start with a really broad brush to smear a little bit of the, the behind of the paper. So right, broad brush. I make it kind of dirty. And this way, I'm not so yeah, concerned about the real contours of the bottle. What I do next is I take a little bit of powder again. And as you see, I've placed a piece of paper. And then from this paper, I go onto the drawing paper and make shadows behind the bottle. It's very easy to do and by doing this I'm getting more surroundings and I'm creating sort of a table where the bottle is standing on. I also apply a little bit of shadow underneath the bottle. This is the cloth. Cloth is always dry. Now I'm getting my eraser. With the eraser I take out the bits I, I shaded in and I take out the highlights on the bottle. So I'm still thinking in shapes and not in lines. Here you can see 
some parts lighting up. And I take out the excess of the eraser rubble and gently move it away. Also at the bottom I see some highlights. Just get the feel of it and you will so notice how easy this is. It's getting shade now. Now I finally get to the pencils. I take a kind of hard pencil, an H. It's a 2H actually. And I don't take the, the brush pencil, but the hard pencil. Now all I have to do is to follow the shadows I created with the brushes. Here you see the bottle is still a little bit of crooked. And now I can make the bottle go more straight. And I will place the lines at the back of the bottle. And I darken the shades I already put in with the brush. Just simply follow your brush strokes. And make more contrast by... Uh, placing the whites and the darks close to each other, you will get that glossy look. At the bottom I take it out a little bit darker and I put in some extra dark strokes for the bottom of the bottle. With my pencil I keep following the darker shadows and now I'm getting more and more the shape of the bottle to come to the front of my drawing paper. Now and then you see me putting in my, my finger to shade out a little bit that's no problem. This bottle I'm drawing now is riding, standing right in front of me. And I'm just following the shadows I see on this bottle and trying to create this on the paper. Also the line of the table I take out a little bit darker. I just simply follow this line and put in a dark line. You see my eraser is yeah, quite dirty now and you simply clean this up by rubbing it with your fingers. Then the rubble comes off and you take that away again and you can get the eraser to create a glass. I want to place a glass in front of the bottle and I simply take it out with my eraser. To get the foot of the glass I put in a little bit of dirt again with my dirty cloth. Now I take the eraser again and I can draw with my eraser the foot of the glass. This is quite simple. Just make kind of circles and you will see a glass appearing in front of your bottle drawing. Then I take my 2H pencil again and I follow and I try to yeah, determine the, 
the, the shape of the glass. Here it's getting into the foot of the glass and I simply draw little dark lines to create the glass and give it its place. Take out a little bit more of the table. The table shines through the glass, but that's okay. That's what I want. Now I can fill in the glass with a little bit of powder again. And I take a little bit smaller brush. And now I can put in the dark shadows in the wine glass. Also on the top of the, the glass and in the foot of the glass, I take out shadows. You see me going rubbing with the brush and by rubbing it the powder really sticks to the paper. Now I can follow the dark shadows I made with the pencil again. You can see how nice the brush strokes and the lines of my pencil are blending together. It's really fun to do. This is a really nice study if you want to study glass material which is very hard to draw but in this way it's well rather fun to do. You can see the lines I draw on the side of the glass. I do not totally take it all the way down. I have little parts uh, not set in and then yes set in and here I see a little bit of dark and I can take that out again with the eraser so it really starts looking glossy. I keep looking at the glass in front of me and just try to get it look the same. Put in a little bit more shadow, the shadow that is casted from the bottle and the glass on the table. In the shadow I take out a little bit of light also, because remember in shadows there are also some lights. It makes it look more lively. making an example now of what I'm doing. I guess you already uh, figured it out by now. But I'm taking in a little bit of powder again on the paper. And now I will draw my name with the eraser. By putting in the eraser in the kind of dirty paper I made and by taking then the pencil you can easily see that the light parts are getting in front of the paper. So this is really what, what drawing glass is all about. Putting dark lines next to the very whites. 
that's what makes it look shiny. It's fun to do. Okay, for now I will finish this drawing. It's now three times as fast and you can see me put some details in and make the glass look even more realistic. And I hope you enjoy this exercise and I wish you all the luck with it because it's really nice to do and I hope to see you next time. If you like this lesson please don't forget to give it a like and see you on my next video. Take care!